Hey everybody, Passport Guardian here, and I just want to go ahead and talk about something that was kind of been on my mind for a little bit, because I recently discovered it on the internet. Now, it's involving these controversies behind a certain individual by the name of Gay Roommate 2020. Now, Gay Roommate 2020 is this YouTube content creator who is known for their voiceovers they would make of these uh, fluffy pony abuse comics. Um, now essentially what that was is it would be like these comics showcasing little tiny ponies being, I guess, just abused and injured and, um, slaughtered and, um, just generally put in really not nice situations. And it's a very niche and, con it's very niche and controversial, uh, for obvious reasons. Um, but the, the behavior of this individual is, uh, has been kind of nuts. And uh, certain YouTubers have been making little videos talking about her and discussing her because, well, quite frankly, you're uploading just straight gore onto YouTube. That's shocking and disgusting and horrible and, quite frankly, unforgivable. So many people are bound to have a very strong reaction to that kind of stuff. Hence the controversy. And the main reason is because around 2024 or so, uh, she began sending out false copyright strikes to this one YouTuber known as Cold Raven's Nest. Um, now, Cold Raven criticized her content and basically made a video discussing it and stating his opinion on the matter. And, uh, like I said, copyright. Um, now, um, thankfully, he did... Um, he, he won against the strike and he had his video reinstated. But it does raise kind of a critical point. Um, false claims can destroy a creator's channel, and uh, if you haven't noticed, it's uh, incredibly unacceptable. Now, beyond copyright abuse, Gay Roommate 2020 has also been accused of ridiculing commenters, making posts to incite harassment, and um, doxing a nine-year-old girl, allegedly, who disliked her videos. Now, let me be clear that doxing anyone, especially a minor, is reprehensible and crosses every ethical boundary. Even the fluffy pony community, yes, that unfortunately exists, they, they banned her um, after some undisclosed conflicts with moderators. Now, reports suggest that, that she was upset over a post she didn't like or something like that. Um, but anyways, her own community couldn't stand her. Now, something that really comes to mind when I think about Gay Roommate 2020 is this old old mindset that people have. You may have heard of it. Uh, it's called Main Character Syndrome. And, you know, any criticism this individual seems to take, no matter how valid or invalid it is, automatically is dismissed. And instead of taking accountability, she doubles down and plays the victim, as we can see by her sending out these copyright strikes. Thankfully, others have been speaking out and uh, exposing her behavior to uh, bring awareness, I would say, to these uh, actions she's, she, she's, uh, she, she's been doing. Um, at the, on this channel, we don't, we don't fuel harassment. It's more just discussing people who've been doing some bad things and not stooping to their level. Now, I personally don't think these videos should be posted on YouTube for everybody to view because, well, they're very graphic, and um, there's little to no warning uh, for any of it, so anybody can stumble across it. And um, its cutesy little look can kind of trick some people who might be looking for something cutesy to stumble across something gory. Now, I'm not really 100% sure what caused them to go out and, you know, send these strikes over, because the videos weren't necessarily stealing this individual's content at all, all right? Um, so, you know, false claims, that ain't good. Yeah, no. What do y'all think about this? Let me know in the comments below, and uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more topics on this. Um, I just kind of really want to discuss it because it's kind of been on my mind, and I kind of stumbled across this rabbit hole when I was watching my freaking Bluey cartoons. So thank you for that, by the way.